Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, uh, Discord, support page, uh, Twitter. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So today I thought it would make a little simpler video, you know, make something cool happen. Um, something pretty, something really nice. So what I did is I went into my SFML RPG folder, wherever you have your config file. I created a new file called resources, okay? In that, I created a new file called images, and in that, I created another new file called backgrounds, where I created a beautiful, beautiful background with a really nice name. I know this is supposed to be funny, but it's probably not funny, but to all of those who have been with me since my console RPG days, the first one, you'll understand what this means and where this comes from, okay? Uh, but this will be the temporary code name for our beautiful game. All right. Um, so I made a little background and it's a, it's a 1080p background. If you were working on anything else, uh, we will make backgrounds that are larger than 1080p. Um, so we optimize it a little bit and make it look nice for you. For those of you who are on 4K, you know, we're going to be 4K ready in this bitch. Okay. Going to have some nice 4K textures. Uh, no, not really, but still. Okay, there you go. So now we have that. Um, I want to actually put that in my main menu. Okay, I want to have a background in my main menu where I show that beautiful image. So I hope you just saw what I did. So we're in backgrounds. Now we're going to load in that, that beautiful background. So for me, that background is only going to be in main menu state. So I'm not going to worry too much about anything. I'm just going to load it in here uh, as a background. All right, and I'm going to put the background to the window size and everything like that. So it's going to be cool. So when, once we create our main menu state here, also I'm going to actually, I'm going to just see what I'm doing. Initialize buttons. Let's just see what we have. Also, we're going to have to fix this whole uh, check for quit stuff um, later on. But first of all, we're just going to load this in and center our buttons. Uh, so we have our background. I'm going to create a fonts in it background because we might want to do some more stuff with it later. I don't know if it needs its own function, but we will still create one. Uh, then we're going to create another one called void in it variables because we're always going to need to initialize variables. Later on, our main menu is probably going to be larger with a bunch of different uh, stuff. So we're just going to do that. Also, let's close game and stuff for now. Open this up. So we're going to, we got two more functions here and it's under initializer functions. There we go. Cool. So we don't need anything in here yet, but in here, we're going to actually load this font. So, or the, the background. So this uh, background dot load wait um set texture it is okay cool 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 uh, anyway first of all we're gonna set the size so set size to this window dot get uh get size all right easy peasy just like that so set size takes a vector to f this gives a vector to you dot x and then dot y dot y probably going to need a sf vector 2f here as well sf vector 2f around all of this and we're just going to static cast this now i know this is pain in the butt uh cast float just going to static cast both of these to floats um like this and there you go boom longest function in the world but it does make sense it does make sense so that's the whole vector these are the static casts so there you go now i can see it a little more clearly perfect uh once we set the size then we're gonna set the texture so first we have to check dot set texture uh, what does it take it takes a texture pointer 
a texture pointer. Hmm. What if, what if, what if, what if SF sprite BG? I'm just going to check something. BG dot set texture. So this is how you can check. So this takes a reference as well. Hmm. Okay, so we're probably going to create a background texture here. BG texture. Or to be clear, background texture. Okay, we're just going to create that for ourselves and we're going to load it in. Uh, this background texture dot load from file. And here's our file name. So we're going to go from where we are, which is right in let's see where we are we're right here so resources resource resources images backgrounds bg1.png pretty sure let's just do it one more time let's just resources images backgrounds bg1.png so once we load that this should return a boolean. Yep. So we'll make a little if statement here around this. Uh, if this does not work, I'm just going to throw error uh, main menu state failed to load background texture main menu state. So this will let us actually throw and just exit the program if something if this doesn't load okay so we're just going to do that and uh and yeah there you go but if it loads everything is successful i'm just going to say this background texture like this and uh but we'll reset rectangle we'll just keep it at false and then we'll set the texture we'll set the size set the texture and then all that stuff and once that is done, let's go down into render. So rendering this background. Um, mm, 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 mm. Also, we need to remove this right here. Just going to remove that. And this init background. And above that, this init variables. So there you go. Okay. All right. So hopefully this will load the texture we want and it should be fine. Now, once you're watching this video, go in, go into GitHub and get all the resource files that I'm putting up because I'm uploading them there. So if you want the background image, just go ahead and get it. Here you go. Here is the background image working for our beautiful, beautiful background. Now we're going to have to kind of move these buttons to where we want them. And to do that, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to, uh, because that we have a font loaded, I'm going to show you something cool. Okay. I'm going to show you something cool. Just go into render, just going around. This is a really bad thing to do, but all the way at the back, let's just say SF text, uh, mouse text, just call it mouse text. Doesn't really matter. Uh, mouse text dot set position this mouse position view and then mouse text dot set font uh, this font okay and once you do that just say mouse text dot set character size to maybe 12 all right so we'll be at the mouse position um and then mouse text dot set string. So we're going to set the string now to uh, to the mouse position, basically. And we're going to set it to this mouse position view dot X. And then we're going to do a STD to string. Now that doesn't work for everyone, actually. You know what we'll do? Uh, STD string stream ss ss we're just gonna print in 
to ss to our string stream. Um, I'm going to print out the mouse position x plus or space and the mouse position for y and then oh we don't actually need a new line this is what we're going to have this is going to be our string here so basically what we're doing i know this looks really weird and we're going to remove all this okay we're going to remove it later remove later okay so we're just creating a little text to show us the mouse position at all times so we can see where we want to place the button kind of okay makes it a little easier for us and then we're just going to say this um target or no target uh, draw mouse text easy as that very easy looks really ugly but hopefully we'll see the position of the of the mouse and we'll be able to determine where we want to keep it we want to put it see so we're seeing that i just have to do a little little tweaking here y minus uh minus 50 so we can see it properly now we'll be able to see it properly and we're gonna have to still quit the video soon so there you go so where i want to put these buttons i want to put them about 274 i don't know where, where do i want to put them do i want them in the center i don't think i want them in the center i think i want them right around here somewhere so around here somewhere i think let's just go for 300 480 300 480 okay and then we'll just comment this out this will be just for debugging if i want to place uh place uh, beautiful beautiful button so 300 480 300 and 480 init buttons 300 and 480 so these are 300 and 480 and then 300 and then 4 no not 480 i don't know where i want to put this i'll probably want to put it 680 let's just make it an even let's see how that looks you know what let's just see how that looks and sorry about touching this sometimes i touch the mic and it gets really weird so there you go something like that probably wanted a little more there but at least this looks a little better um if i want it centered i'll i'll do that uh maybe i want to make it a little larger though 250 uh, 250 just like that and then we'll before i leave you because i'm gonna have to leave you now i'm sorry i want to make another button called settings okay and it's gonna have settings and we're gonna put it at 480 580 and then that's a little lower 780 new game settings and then the quit so let's just run this. Let's see. It should automatically add that button for me now since we have our map, which is really handy and nice. So there you go, settings. Okay, it doesn't do anything. But we have our new game. We can press that and we're into the game. There you go, guys and girls. A little GUI action right now. Looks okay. If you want to replace the buttons, just remember you can just uncomment all this crap and see where you want to put the button at what position. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope that was fun. Uh, we will, I promise, we'll get into more gameplay soon. I just want to make sure the main menu kind of works. We can set the window settings a little bit, some engine stuff. And then we'll get into moving the character a little nicer. Animations, sprites, all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to make sure all that works. But thank you so much for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Check out the description box as always. And uh, just take care. Keep working hard. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Uh, bye bye.